Hey guys, it's Ashton Lua here, and today I'm going to be showing you my new updated round system inside of Roblox Studio. So yeah, let's just get into it. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to the first link in the description down below in this video, and you're going to want to download the model, which is on at the Roblox store. And then once you've got it, just insert it into your game, and you should have this. Well, I've already laid it out, so let me just delete everything real quick because I already have everything in the right place I just want to show how to set it all up so you want to go to toolbox and then to my models and it should be here Ashton Lewis round system version 3 and then as you can see we have our stuff here so inside this folder we can get rid of the readme because you're watching the actual video and all these folders, you want to ungroup them in the right spot. So, replicated storage would go here and then just ungroup it with Control U. So, just do that for each folder Control U, Workspace, Pull in Workspace, Server Storage, like that, Sound Service, finally start a GUI. So, as you can see, we now have our round system set up. And if we go into, just delete that, if we go into round server, we have a few properties and variables we can change. And as you can see, it says only edit lines with comments on. And that pretty much, unless you're changing the, the tool, so if you don't want it to be a sword, then you change everything that's a sword here. But other than that, we have the intermission time, which is how long in between rounds. Round time is obviously how long the round is. And then required players is minimum amount of players to start an actual round. So you'd actually want this to be two. So you have two people to like fight in a round. But I'm going to keep it as one so I can just test it. So now that we've got it, we can just click play and test it out. We just turn it on. So as you can see, our round system is working. It's counting down. Our map loads when we fade in. And then we spawn in with our sword. And we have the round time counting down. And it does say I have two wins, that's because the leader stats save. Because obviously I've tested this before, I've got two wins, and it's saved. So the leader stats do save. And I'm not actually sure what happens when there's one player start, I think it just sets it as a draw. Wait. There we go. So that is just the basic round system. So now I'm going to show you some stuff that you can change and customize within the round system. So if you want to add custom maps, I'm just going to open a map as an example. So you have this map here. As you can see, a normal map. We have a folder called models, and then we have these parts called tele parts. Basically, these tele parts is what the player is going to teleport to when the round starts and then this folder is just all the parts and models so if you go in here as you can see we have all the models here and make sure everything is anchored and make sure the tele parts are transparent and can collide is off so you don't collide with the parts so yeah that's how you would make a custom map just drag that back in the maps folder and make sure it's in the maps folder so you can also customize this text label here so if you want it to be a different font for example you can just go here and make it that instead to have a different font and we can also change the music so if we go to sound service music game lobby and status change so game is the music that plays in game Lobby is the music that plays in the lobby and status changed is the sound that plays when it says loading round on the text bar label thing here. So you know if we wanted to change this, if I go to audio and just pick a random sound. There we go. Just copy the ID, go to the lobby and paste the ID in. And if we want to change the game, just do 
I don't know. This. There we go. So if we copy the idea again, paste it in. And if we just go to play again, as you can see, oh, I've just closed it. <laughs> so if we load in here, as you can see, as you can hear, we have the new music and our font is different. And then once we load in to the map, there's different music. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this round system. It is pretty simple because I, I wanted to keep it simple and lightweight and make sure there's no bugs like the previous one. So you can just customize this however you want. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.